this is the day. This is the moment. This is the spot. Look at this. It's, I think this best spot on the coast. Not only is it the best spot on the coast, it's the best spot on the coast that two people could stand while they share their vows to each other. I would just like to take a moment right now and just say, we made it. <laughs> we did it. We worked really hard to get here. How do I feel? And here we are. Great. Ten years younger <laughs> after my makeup. Angie and I met back in 2017. Angie was in need of a new roommate at the time. She just happened to list her apartment on Craigslist. And I honestly thought that the post was a scam. But that sketchy Craigslist post is actually what brought us together. And she was the best roommate anyone could ask for because she was never home. <laughs> then COVID hit and suddenly she was always home. I went from having peace and quiet to coming home after a long shift at work to Ange chatting in my ear the minute I walked through the front door. And for those of you that know Ange, you know that the girl can talk. <laughs> but she has truly been a blessing in my life. She is the sister I never had, completely accepts you as you are. She is one of the most generous and giving human beings I know I always knew that whoever she was going to end up with would truly be lucky to have her. Ange is one of my most loyal friends, and I knew that she wouldn't just ditch me for anyone. I knew that Greg was someone really special. I watched their relationship come full circle, and I couldn't be happier for the both of you. Each of you have um, this imaginary, I'm, I'm in my imagination frame right now, this cord connected to each of your hearts, to each of these people who know and love you. And each one of these connections that you have represent the support that you have from them. I'm sure that when you make a major purchase, you probably check with a couple guys that you trust and bounce your ideas off of them. This is some of these people here. I think you, you almost raised your hand. <laughs> then you decided to change your mind. I had the, let's call it, unique pleasure of meeting Greg in middle school. And for the next five years, every poor decision I made in my life, Greg was somewhere around. Faking sick to lay by the pool, Greg's writing me a doctor's note. Dad going to dinner for three hours, he's helping me throw a party. I didn't go to the library with Greg unless I intended to stay until 4 a.m. Not joking. I mean, but that's Greg. Top law school. Hardest bar in the US, brutal job market. I mean, he just wields that determination like a sledgehammer. So when he showed up one day, just completely smitten with this girl that he's dating, honestly, I was a little concerned. I mean, she's smart, beautiful, treats me insanely well. What's her angle? I'm like, clearly she's mistaking you for a celebrity of some sort. And in classic Greg fashion, he drags her an hour away to a hotel bar so we could also watch college football. I'm actually truly excited to support Greg and his friendships. Honestly, and that really meant a lot to Greg and I. I mean, the, the way you've shown him love, embraced his relationships, encouraged his drive, and even tolerated his idiosyncrasies, leaves no doubt that you will be as good a partner to Greg as you are a mother to Mike. So, as the sun rises on the next chapter of your lives, take comfort in the knowledge that this and all future chapters will be traversed together and with the support of everyone here today. Gratitude is like turning a light on in a dark room. If you remember back at all of these major things that have taken place, challenges, sorrow, regret, 
every single time you found resolution, you were surrounded with gratitude. Even close to five years ago, maybe it was the day you met, maybe a few months after or what, you were on a date or saying goodnight and you were looking into each other's eyes. And in the pure presence together, you were not only looking into each other's eyes, you were looking into your own eyes. And even deeper than that, you were looking into the eyes of the Holy One, where there is no other. Do you remember that moment? And do you remember the feeling that you had in that moment? That's what I'm talking about. That's gratitude. stand here of your own free will without coercion. I do. Is it your heart's desire to be a loving husband to Angela, to be a support to her and a provider, and not just materially, but emotionally and spiritually? It is. And Greg, almost five years together, that's enough time that you know what you have to deal with. <laughs> Do you now accept Angela as your own personal diva? I do. <laughs> Angela, do you stand here of your own free will? I do. Is it your heart's desire to be a loving wife to Greg? I do. And Angela, as you well know, all of Greg's idiosyncrasies, to help him out, will you make sure that all the clocks are ahead 15 minutes so he's not late for life? <laughs> I do, 15 minutes. <laughs> of joy and therefore I pray Baruch Hata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Borei Pri HaGafen we give thanks to the source of all life that which has given us the fruit of the vine that we may share joy with one another Amen As I, I give, give you my hand to hold I give you my heart to keep with, with this ring, ring I promise my loving loyalty, loyalty.
guys, everyone in here are closest to our heart, our dear friends, our dear family. We're all so lucky to have you. Have fun, celebrate, enjoy yourselves, and thank you.